Okay, so I didn't actually know how I wanted to start this video, um, because honestly, I, I was bored, um, and this idea just popped in my head. But I want to make a boat out of garbage, but I have no garbage. Well, I actually have a lot of garbage, but no garbage I can put a boat in. If I can show you this, um, I have, like, boats. This is my first RC boat I ever built, and doesn't work anymore, obviously. Um, I can't put... Uh, here, these are the electronics I have. The, it's a mess, but it's everything I need to build a boat. Now, I could fit this in this boat, but then, like, it's not interesting. Um, I want to build a boat out of actual trash. Um, these electronics came out of the light ship, by the way, which was having um, underpoweredness. It couldn't even move by the time I was done with it. Um, so I'm going to replace electronics in this with some more powerful ones. Probably the ones in the fishing trawler here. Um, and then tugboat's running fine. But then like the rest of these, like the shrimp boat, which is probably my most beautiful model, and this tugboat over here, the, it's just not going to work. And then I can't fit anything in that paddle boat. Uh, tuna boats, that's all I have left of it. And then the rest are not viable. I was going to try that foam boat, but there's actually no room in it. Like, downright no room. And I don't think this thing's going to run anytime soon with this. So that's that. Um, I was going to do that water bottle there. That would have been cool. So I kind of don't know. I would have built a custom boat, but... I got lazy. So this. I got an idea actually. Ugh. I think that's pretty sweet. Just secure it, put a rudder on it, and we can have a speedboat, a pontoon boat. Like, don't tell me that's not cool. Okay, so I've, I don't have the stuff to film a build video. Here, let me actually sit down so the angle's better. I don't have the stuff to film a build video, so I'm pretty much just gonna be cutting up this foam and making mounts so that things like the motor could fit and it's gonna like sit in the water. I don't actually know if these could support the weight of all this, these are supposed to support the weight of this plane over here. And this plane, I don't think weighs as much as all that. So, in the battery, the battery on that plane literally is like as big as these tracks here. Like, that's about the size of the battery for that plane. That's nothing. This thing was either going to roll over or sink, or it's going to work. And I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. The tugboat propeller on the pontoons. <laughs> oh boy, guy. boys and girls, this is what we got. Um, this is the uh, shaft, how it's gonna go. The battery is gonna sit in water, but whatever. Um, we don't care about safety, not here. Uh, I haven't actually run it yet. <laughs> oh, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rudder. This is our servo we're using. I have a feeling I'm just gonna mount it like this, and I'm just gonna put like a rod for a paddle, and it just moves the paddle. I, like, I don't know. This is so bad. All right, so I got impatient, and I wanna run it now. So we're about to see if this thing even runs reliably. Oh, I'm hitting the throttle and nothing's happening. Oh, I don't have it plugged in. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna plug in the throttle. That's plugged in. Shut it off. Okay, we're good. Oh no, I plugged in the... How did I mess that up? I plugged in the servo. Let's just see. Oh God. Oh dude, okay, this needs... This needs a more solid connection than this. This is too flimsy, because we're not driving it like that. All right, 
yeah, that's right. I'm in the bathroom at the bathtub that we haven't seen in like a year. Oh, it already broke. It already broke. Whatever, we're just gonna go for it. This is our, um, uh, our amazing machine. I have no clue what this is gonna do. I don't, so battery sit, okay, yep. I put it in the water and it immediately sank. It's not buoyant enough. Let's see if I actually killed the dang thing. No, it's good. All right, so it is currently sinking a little lower, but I think it's, I think this is good enough. The battery is completely underwater. Let me get the controller. See, I never plan these things ahead and I don't want to explode the battery. It is underwater after all. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna see what happens. Um, so for one, the propeller doesn't sit low enough, but the boat sits too low. So maybe I just do that and kill the servo. Um, yeah, you're out. All right, so now it sits really poorly, but does it work? It goes no miles an hour. It's so slow and so jank and so But it works. It's a working boat made of trash. Um, I'm not taking this anywhere but this bathtub for reasons. Because I'd get evicted from my apartment if they saw me with this monstrosity. <laughs> Um, yeah. I don't even know. Just comment if you want me to make another piece of shit. Alright, so let's just go over the not even a minute of running that this thing had. Um, I'm not gonna take this junk boat out anywhere else because it can't run on its own. It falls apart. In fact, you see, the foam parts that are still on it are waterproofed. Um, the ones that fell off were normal foam board like this, and that uh, stuff just crumbles in water. It's pretty nasty and cheap. But it does well with airplanes, not with boats. Um, you can see just bits. It, it, it's just rubbish. But it did work. It did move, and all the parts are actually still intact. Is it good? No, it's really bad. The pontoons couldn't hold the weight, so I had to add more foam. Um, the battery sits underwater, which is a hazard even my standards. Uh, and eventually the whole thing just shredded itself and it didn't go fast, it didn't control well. It was just a bad boat, but it worked. So I'm gonna probably try and redeem myself later with a better junk boat. But I think for now, I could be satisfied knowing you can build a boat out of parts that would never go into a boat. Bye-bye.